Welcome back to my Surat video tutorials. In this video, we continue the analysis of standard pre-processing workflow. So we already performed quality control analysis and removed no quality cells from our Surat object. So today, we perform the analysis for the rest three steps, data normalization, feature selection, and the data scaling. Thread has a command for each step, the normalize data function for data normalization, the find variable features function for feature selection, and the scale data function for data scanning. So uh, let's have a look at our threat object to see where we store uh, our data. So we store the um, quality control metrics in metadata. So in previous analysis, we um, stored the percentage of mitochondria gene uh, in the metadata. And uh, following cell selection, we kept uh, 11,612 cells for uh, further analysis. So we store uh, the original sequencing data and uh, our analyzed data in this section. So the original DG matrix data was stored in the cons. So we store the analyzed data in the data section. So here we store uh, the normalized data. At the moment, it looks the same as uh, DG matrix data. That is because we haven't do the data normalization yet. So we store uh, scaled data in uh, scaled dot data and uh, we store the variable features in var dot features. We also store uh, each command that we performed in the uh, command list. At the moment, uh, the list is zero. So we can have a look at the uh, data x before normalization. So you can see and they are uh, UMI counts. So now we can run the Functional normal nice data. So by default, this function employs a global scaling normalization method called a knock normalize. This method normalizes the gene expression measurement for each cell by the total expression and the multiplies by a scale factor 10,000 and then look transform the result. So let's have a look at the uh, data x now. You can see the data has been normalized. So following uh, data normalization, we calculate a uh, a set of variable features. They show a high cell cell variation in our thread object. The features will have high expression in some cells, but no expression in other cells. So we can look at the data again before we run this function. So you can see uh, 
At the moment, the variable features is zero, so let's run uh, the find variable features function. So by default, this function uh, uses a selection method called the variance stabilizing transformation and returns 2000 variable features. So uh, studies have shown that using variable features in downstream analysis could uh, highlight the biological signal learning pathways in single cell data analysis. Now, if you look at the data, so we have 2000 variable features. So we can uh, look at the variable features. You can see uh, we print out the first uh, 1000 variable features. And the screw, we screw back to see uh, the top ten, top top ten uh, variable features. We can also uh, use the function variable feature plot to plot the two thousand variable. Uh, features. So let's zoom in, have a look. The plot. So uh, the red color are variable features and the uh, black color are non-variable features. So in total, uh, in our object, we have 19,233 genes. So now we can run the last step of our standard pre processing workflow data scaling. So uh, Data scanning is uh, an essential step in the threat workflow. In the default settings in data scanning, uh, we only use uh, the 2000 variable features. So you can also uh, run scale data function on all genes, but this takes uh, longer time. In particular, when you have a large uh, data set. So, uh, the scale data function is a linear transformation analysis. Scale data function shifts the expression of each gene and so that the mean expression across cells for the gene is zero and then scales the expression of each gene so that uh, the variance across cell is one. So this linear transformation analysis give equal weight in downstream analysis then the highly expressed gene do not dominate in our analysis. So let's uh, have a look at uh, the scaled data. So you can see uh, the scaled data has been stored in our uh, throughout object. So if we uh, look at the 
commands list again. Now you can see we have a uh, three uh, command in the command list. Normalize data, find variable features, and uh, scale data. So it also show um, when we perform the analysis, what kind of method and the scale factor we used for uh, this function. So, so it looks uh, the same for uh, find variable features and uh, scale data. So now we can uh, save our thread object for a uh, future analysis. So in my next uh, video, I will uh, show you uh, the linear dimensional reduction analysis.